Imagine you had 50 siblings and you were just one of them trying to survive inside of a family where they fought over food, girls, boys, everything you could imagine. That's this true story. Today we're going to react to it and see what's going on in this girl's life. Hi, I'm Flora from Austria and my house is a freaking torture chamber. Time out. Time out. Time, stop, 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 stop. First off, that house is barely big enough for one or two people to live in and you're telling me 50 of you live in here? Or are you going to tell me your brothers and sisters are cats? You adopt 10 cats and they've been shedding everywhere. Dad's pissed about it, and I don't blame him. But he's also kind of a cranky, bitter person in general. I can relate to pretty much all of this. My cat's literally laying here. The amount of fur that's on my shirt. Look at this. Zoom in on this. Bro, I put this on an hour ago. She lays on my lap all day and like freaking just fur. I'm also convinced he secretly hates me and mom. I'll get more into that later. Oh, and also, we live next to a crazy old lady who always screams at midnight because she's convinced it's the devil's hour. Well, I mean, if you look at her attic, she has a clear reason to feel that way. There's a, literally a monster living in a rooftop. If you want to know whether I ever escape this place, the heck? hit like and subscribe. We didn't need to be that scary. My parents as an only child, except I don't understand why they even had me in the first place. Now, this seems to contradict heavily with what the title says, but it does say I swear in the title, so it's definitely going to be true. Because it seemed like they really didn't like having a kid around. I couldn't even sit on mom's lap because one of her dumb cats was always lying on her. I went from being sad to being very understanding. I mean, I, I do the same with I babies. I do the same, bro. My cats are cute. Yep. She's been taking in dirty strays for as oh, long no. as I can remember. It's like my grandma. Once when I was four, I finally snapped from jealousy and shoved one of them off of her. My mommy. Flora, why would you do that? Hey, look, I, I agree with mom on this one. By the way, my grandma does this so much. Mimi out here with just so many cats. It's crazy, bro. Because that fat, lazy cat was in my spot. Don't speak that way about Gigi. Apologize right now. Yeah. She made me say sorry to a cat so that she I. probably loved more than me. Same. But believe it or not, dad was actually worse than mom. I shouldn't be agreeing with the bad mom in this case, but I just love a good cat. In his eyes, everything I did was wrong. My fashion sense was weird. I always- Where the heck is she? She's like in the Singapore skyline right now. Where, where did that come from? And I didn't eat enough. Maybe because all the food in our fridge was stale and gross. Then one day when I turned 15, Things took an interesting turn. A boy and a girl transferred to my school who were twins named Jan and Matilda. Bro, I swear if you fall in love with this guy again, this is gonna kill me. This is not about 50 siblings. The sister seemed nice, but from the moment Jan sat in class with me, he kept staring at me. Oh good, Like You're I had mad. three heads. And wherever I went, he always seemed to be nearby. Like he was following me. At one point, Jan came up to my locker. What's your problem, man? No, it's going to be a love story about her falling in love with this guy, and then something's going to happen with the cat, where the cats eat his body when he dies or something weird. You've been I know stalking it. me all day. I know. I've been watching you all day, and there's something about you I just don't trust. This is the great first move in picking up women, boys. It's like Sneeko's advice. Go up and insult her right away. What are you... Suddenly, Matilda ran up to me and asked if Jan was harassing me. He has a habit of bullying other kids. Aww. Don't worry, I'll report him to the principal. No, I'm not doing anything wrong. And Matilda, I don't want you talking to this. Hey, be honest, anybody out there named Matilda watching? Cause like, no, no hate, but like, that's a grandma, straight up grandma name, I don't know. Do you understand me? Jan, if you don't walk away right now, you'll wake up tomorrow morning with missing teeth. Jan finally stormed off and oh. Matilda pulled me aside. She told me not to go near her brother, just for my own safety. Okay. I come from a kind of messed up family. My parents are- Hey, same bro, same, let's go. Jerks and control freaks, and Jan takes after them. He's been the neighborhood bully for years, but don't worry, I won't let him hurt you. Well, thank you. I'm sorry you have to deal with him. I know what it's like to have a crazy family. Something suspicious is happening. I feel like they're gonna scam her or something, or like, I don't know, something weird is, this is weird, something weird's coming. Matilda and I instantly became friends. Oh my God, he's Attack on Titan monster. He's about to eat her. Which angered Jan, oh. but I no, didn't care. I finally had a friend who understood what I was going through. I always told Matilda I planned on running away from home someday. And one night, she took that statement seriously. Look at where you live. Mountains, somehow there's 50. It's literally the title's clickbait, but like just gorgeous. I just want to point Sleep. that out. At around 1 a.m., hey. Matilda texted me a random address thing and said to meet her right away. I arrived at an empty parking lot, and Matilda told me she was waiting for a helicopter to come pick her up. A helicopter? 
What are you talking about? Flora? So this girl's rich. My theory is she's a CIA agent undercover trying to kidnap this girl because this girl has secret information about this girl's parents who are KGB agents from Russia. I've been wanting to tell you about this for a while. Do you know what a second family is? You know, a mom and dad you secretly stay with whenever what? you need a break from home? What? No, I've never heard of that. What is that? That's like when you're a guy and you have like two families. I've never heard of a child doing that. I'll explain later. Anyway, I have a second family that lives on an island. They're billionaires. The island is only an hour away. Oh no, she lives with Jeffrey Epstein. And sometimes they send a private helicopter no. to pick me up. No, this is not good. So, I was wondering if you wanted to come with me on one of my island trips. Matilda, what you're saying- This girl works with Glistine Maxwell then straight up 100%. Honestly, doesn't bro. Doesn't make any sense. I agree. You're telling me you have an adopted family that picks you up in a helicopter and- mm -hmm. Look, look, there it is. Holy fudge. That helicopter is actually there to pick you up? I stood in shock as a helicopter actually landed and a woman stepped out. I knew it'd be a woman. I knew it'd be a woman. I, what I say, what I say, rewind it, what I say. This girl works with Glistine Maxwell then straight up 100%. To invite us inside. And she insisted that she could fly us back before dawn since the island was so close. This was insane. This is sketchy. I don't know if it was because Matilda begged or the fact that I was curious about what a second family was, but I agreed to go. And when we landed, I saw we were next to a mansion on the- It's really not that big of a house. I mean, it is, but like, it's just, it's not that big. It's like a Minecraft house, bro. It's like a couple blocky rooms in this thing. What the is ocean that? ocean shore. This is where the family lives? I still don't understand what a second family is. Do your parents know about it? No, of course not. My second family runs a secret charity organization. They let depressed kids stay at their mansion what? whenever they need an escape from their lives. I found out about it at my old school. My second mom was my guidance counselor. Dude, my guidance counselor was a guy who missed like 15 teeth, always was smoking cigarettes, and then told me that honor roll students and engineers don't get C's, Zach. You should change, you should change your future vision. <laughs> I hate that guy. Oh, come they have to keep it a secret? Because my parents aren't gonna let me stay at some stranger's house. I have to sneak out or tell them that I'm sleeping over at a friend's house. So the amount of red flags are absolutely unbelievable. At that second, the heck are these kids? Matilda pointed to a bunch of teenagers swimming in the ocean and laughing. These were all guests of Matilda's second family? Keep in mind, it's 1 a.m. right now and they're swimming in the ocean. I don't know if that's when sharks come out, but I imagine it is. She then led me inside where her second parents greeted me warmly. Christine. We're so glad you could visit us, Flora. Matilda's been wanting to bring you here for a while. Whoa, what do you mean for a while? They just met. Let me show you to your bedroom. Wait, I have a bedroom here? All the guests have a bedroom here in case they want to stay the night. You and I could skip school tomorrow and stay here. This mom lets them skip school? When Matilda's second mom showed me to my bedroom, I had my own bed, my own laptop, and the walls were covered with MSA posters. Matilda told me how much you love My Story Animated. I'm so glad you're staying with us, sweetheart. I hung out with Matilda for several hours at the island before going back, and I had the best- This is bizarre, man. I feel like something's up. She's gonna get kidnapped or murdered. I just can't- I feel like they're lulling us into a sense of false- false security where they punch us in the face, they're all cannibals. Time. From that night on, Matilda and I would escape to the mansion every weekend. Does nobody hear a helicopter landing in the middle of the city every night at midnight? Is that not weird to anybody? And nobody knew our secret. One morning, I was lying in the hammock when second mom carried over a tray of breakfast for me. Poisonous. And it smelled incredible. It's poisonous, it's poisonous, it's poisonous. I made you some bread rolls made from scratch, Flora. She's dead. Wow. Mom's never made me a homemade breakfast before. So, what's your story, Flora? What happened at home that was so awful that you had to escape to our island? I don't know what happened, but I started pouring my heart out to second mom about- Oh no, she's gonna use your secret knowledge against you and then murder you and eat you. It's ha there has to be cannibals, there has to be- What a jerk dad was, how the house was a mess, how mom loved her zillion cats. You know, part of my job as your second mom is to love you like my own daughter, but you have tons of other adopted- Oh, these are her 50 siblings, the new people. Daughters, and you barely know me. You're all special to me in your own way. Give me a chance, Flora. I want to get to know you. Suddenly, she leaned Aww. over and hugged me, and I felt my heart so skip sweet. a beat. I didn't remember the last time my own mom hugged me. Same. But this felt incredible. I was still thinking about that hug the next afternoon in the library. Wow. Then suddenly, 
Jan, of all people, sat next to me. Yes! Here it goes. This is the point where things break down. I am ready. It's been too peaceful and positive. I know about the island, Flora. Bam. I overheard you and Matilda talking about it the other night. About the Second Family Top Secret Charity Foundation. What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. I don't associate with bullies. Listen, I was out of line before. This is getting weird. I shouldn't have been so suspicious of you. You've actually been a great friend to my sister. We're just gonna ignore the fact there's a dead girl behind him? You guys can't keep going to that island. Yes. Trust me. I know about Matilda's second family. They're gonna eat you. can't keep seeing them. You're putting yourself in danger. Finally, some, this guy, okay, this guy's the good guy. I know it now, he's a good and guy. you could get seriously hurt. And why would I trust what you say? Matilda told me you're a neighborhood bully. You live to see other people miserable. So of course you don't want Matilda and I to go somewhere that makes us happy. I stomped off and took the bus home. Is anybody surprised that this girl is allowed to show her shoulders in school? Because if a girl showed her shoulders in my school, you get straight up in trouble. But when I arrived, I was hit with wild news. They're dead. Dad's job got transferred oh. to another city, and we were moving an hour away. That also means you have to get rid of those dirty strays and finally become normal. Are you kidding? I'm taking them in the car. All 18 of them. What the flippin' fudge? What the flippin' fudge? What the flippin' fudge is this? I don't want to move. What the flip? You can't make me. But my parents said we'd leave in two weeks. I immediately called- Yo, there are some Illuminati symbols. We got a literal sacrifice. What What in the world? Hold on, wait a minute. Do we just forget the fact that her neighbor was screaming at midnight because there was a demon out there and we never even brought that up again? Can we go? Is that, is that the neighbor? What the heck? Matilda what? that night and asked her what I should do. So? What? Ask second mom if you can move in perfect. What the heck is this? What, what, what is behind her? Is there the freak? What, what in the world? It zooms in on the girl's booty in the sky. What? Matilda, no, that's crazy. I don't see how that would even how work we? out. What is this? You said you don't want to move, right? And I know how much you love the island and our second family. It's worth a try. I took the bus to meet Matilda at our usual spot. How are we just gonna, not even gonna mention? I don't even know what just happened. Why did it show that? Okay. Couple of hours. We just waited in that empty parking lot until they sent the helicopter. And when I finally went uh -oh. in to meet second mom, I told her everything. So, is it possible for you to permanently adopt me? Your parents aren't that bad? Well, they have 17 cats. Yes, it's weird. Yes, it's disgusting. Honestly, though, it's not that bad. You can't stay here permanently. None of the kids can stay here all the time. They come and go as they please. But I can't adopt any of you. What do you mean? You said your job is to love me like your own daughter. I know, and I do. But I can't take care of you 24-7. I can't be your full-time mom. I felt numb. I don't understand why if there's always probably kids there. With shock, a second mom poured herself some more tea. Poison. No, I needed her to be my full-time mom. My own mom was the worst. Second mom tried to apologize. By the way, that is a beautiful painting. I keep, every time I shows it, I'm like, that's actually like a really pretty painting. Look at the colors on that and the birds. It's just like, that's actually pretty sick art, bro. That's cool. tell me she loved me, but I didn't want to hear it. I smashed her cup of tea onto the floor and ran outside to meet Matilda. We needed to fly back and I never wanted to come here again. Spoiled brat. On the helicopter ride back, I tried to hold back tears. And when we got back to the parking lot, I froze when I suddenly saw Jan waiting for us. Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Did you track us down or something? Yeah, cause I was worried about you. Spill the tea, buddy. I knew you and Flora had been sneaking off places, but I didn't know it was in this abandoned lot. Do you know how dangerous this neighborhood is? Mom and dad drove over here with several cops, Matilda. And they let the helicopter leave? Y'all just about busted Jeffrey Epstein's and this is it. You just said, all right, thanks, bye. Matilda looked pissed as her parents called her over and Jan pulled me aside, saying he needed to talk to me about something important. And well, I was too tired to argue with him. Okay. Flora, you and I both know that Matilda is mentally ill. What? She hallucinates and has imaginary friends and places she goes to, including that faraway island you guys go to with the second family. Shut up, Jan! I dude, if they come in and say that this is actually a hallucination, this would be the greatest story time story ever. Please, please, please do that. Please, it'd be so good. Please. That island we travel please. to together is real. Even you can't see it. Come on, stop lying. Fine. So what if that place isn't real? Yeah, I realized Matilda was hallucinating at first. What? You know, with the helicopter. 
but I decided to play along with her fantasy, and I got caught up in it too. My life is tough, and I needed a perfect imaginary island to escape to, with an imaginary wow. mansion and imaginary mom. Jan looked at me for a long time and ended up- Wow. Yes, let's go. This is, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. I actually got twisted. Sword time riders, let's go. More of this. I enjoy this. Let's go. Are you kidding me? It's all fake. No way, bro. Even the painting that I liked wasn't even real. I ended up calling my parents, telling them everything that happened. They drove over to take me to an overnight treatment center where I could get some therapy. Jen even came with us and sat with me in the waiting room. I don't get it. I thought you were a jerk bully who hated everyone. <laughs> I never bullied anyone. Before we knew Matilda was mentally ill, she'd tell me about her imaginary friends who were being mean to her. This is crazy. And I thought they were real. One time, she told me about a girl with blue hair and blue eyes who was harassing her and she lived in our neighborhood. I thought that was you. So I confronted you to protect my sister. Wow. Well, I guess that explained things. Didn't explain your crazy neighbor still. Jan was being really sweet, but I still felt heartbroken. Yeah. I missed my second mom. And when my actual parents came over to talk to me, it made me miss her more. Flora, we had a long talk with Jan and a few doctors. We had no idea you were feeling this way. And I never meant to make you feel like you weren't good enough. Your mom and I were struggling a lot with money and we were stressed a lot of the time. So, I was angry most of the time. We love you, sweetie. Okay, but I don't care. What's the neighbor? Are you two kidding me? You think you can just apologize and I'll just magically forgive you? Mm -hmm. No, mm -mm. of course not. Mm -mm. But we've decided not to move. We see you've made some friends here and we want to have a fresh start with you. Mom hugged me for the first time in ages. And for that brief moment, my anger melted away. Neighbor. Later, I found out Matilda was getting treatment here too. Oh, good. And luckily, we'd be sharing a room. Oh, that seems like a bad idea. Really sorry I got you into this mess, Flora. But things are gonna get better. And by the way, my brother has a huge crush on you. What? You can't date your best friend's brother. No, he doesn't. Really? Yep, I can tell by the way he looks at you. Plus, he gave me this box of chocolates to get Okay, you. that's pretty obvious. Wow. He'd actually gotten me chocolates and wrote a get well card. So maybe after therapy, I'd get oh. myself a boyfriend. Matilda left the room right then, and I thought I was alone, when suddenly I saw second mom sitting on my bed. What about the neighbor? That seemed so weird. Why was, why do we, he well, what? I'm really happy you're feeling better, Flora. Go away, please. I don't want to see you anymore. You're not real. I know, I won't come again. It's time for you to make peace with your real mom oh God, and goosebumps. your real life. I'm getting chills. Hey, dude. Look. I'm not going to listen to a ghost lecture me about music. how to live my life. But when I turned to look at her, she was gone. She was gone. Part of me felt sad, but I knew it was time to let her go. Take a deep breath, Flora. Here's to a fresh start. That was genuinely a, such a good story. I just don't understand what happened to the neighbor. Literally loved it. Literally loved it. I have goosebumps. Like a lot of them. Look at this, bro. I'm freaking loaded in goosebumps. Subscribe to my channel now. Goodbye.